Somebody asked me this week, what have you got against religion? Well, that's a tough one. I'm suspicious of religion and that's unusual for me because normally if something sounds too good to be true, I'm in. Where do I sign? But with religion, something's holding me back and I'm not sure what it is. It could be the shameless hypocrisy, the arrogant self-righteousness, the willful ignorance, or the cynical indoctrination and poisoning of young minds with prejudice and hate. It's difficult to say exactly. I do know that given half a chance, religion would control every aspect of my life, whether I want it to or not, and would impose a morality on me, telling me what to think, what to believe, and who to attack and kill for believing something else. Thus, religion is the natural home of the psychopath. Historically, whenever religion gets any power, the result is always repression. If it could, I'm sure it would bring back crucifixion. So that's just one of the things I've got against religion. Another thing, uh, since you ask, is uh, this book, the Bible, or the Holy Bible, as it's jokingly referred to here on the front cover, the costume drama from hell a mesmerizing soup of image and metaphor into which any fantasy can be read and by which any horror can be justified. They call the Bible the good book. And yes, if you're looking for blood and guts, sadistic cruelty, meanness of spirit and general psychopathic insanity, then this might be what you'd call a good book. This might be the book for you. But if you're looking in the Bible for a guide to living a compassionate and wise and humane life, well then frankly you've got more chance of finding a lap dancing club in Mecca or a virgin in a Catholic orphanage. If this book is truly the word of a loving and merciful God, then all I can say is it's a suicide note. Although I will admit that it's possible for the Bible to be used for good, of course it is. For example, if you were to take a nice thick hardback copy of the Bible and insert it sideways into George W. Bush's born again anus and then hammer it up there nice and tight with a very large mallet, that might do some good. I mean, I'm no expert, but I really believe it would do him a lot of good and I also think it would greatly enhance America's somewhat tarnished image abroad. You know it makes sense. Finally, to all the Christians who've contacted me recently, quoting scripture and preaching Jesus, you know who you are, yes, please, by all means, carry on preaching Jesus to me all you like, that's fine. But if you're not also imitating Jesus in your daily life, then you might want to think about preaching something that's more in line with your actual beliefs and not your pretend ones. Otherwise, you could go a little crazy. In other words, if you can't practice what you preach, at least have the decency to preach what you practice. Well, those are just a few of the things I've got against religion. If anyone has any more stupid questions, I'll be happy to answer them as well. Peace.